Hello, my name is Daniel Watfress, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the opt-in crusher with AWeber's email service. To start with, you come over to your opt-in crusher blog, where you, where you have opt-in crusher installed. And once you've logged in, from the dashboard, under the settings menu, you want to click on opt-in crusher. From the opt-in crusher settings page, you want to scroll down to the area or the, uh, the section entitled opt-in form details. And there is a field right here where you paste the form from AWeber. So then you go over to your AWeber list and you go to web forms. And after choosing the web form that you want to edit, there are three tabs here. You click on the publish tab. And, uh, and of course you can go through and, and work on, on the form, include the fields that you want, update your settings. When you're done, you click the Publish tab and you want to click on this raw HTML version under I will install my form. So you click Publish, I will install my form, raw HTML version. And that pulls up this box here with all of the, the form details. Now there's a lot of code in there, but all you have to do is make sure you copy the entire form and just paste it into this field here. Then you click this big green process form button and Optin Crusher takes care of the rest. Click update all settings and there you have an opt-in form now integrated with AWeber as part of your opt-in crusher. Anybody who signs up, punches in their name and email address will be added to your list. Now there's one more bit that you want to do with a Weber. One of the bits they generate here starts with a less than sign saying div style display none and then has this little IMG. Well you want to copy all of that all the way to the end of the line. So you just copy that one line there, come back here, and then in this processed opt-in form field scroll down to the bottom and paste that right in and click update all settings. Now what that does is it doesn't change the way anything looks or functions but it will keep the statistics for that web form accurate on your AWeber list when it shows you how many times people have viewed the opt-in form versus how many times they've signed up. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.